Alright guys, this is just one. This is the second time I'm making this video. I'm working on a case 550G long track dozer. Pretty filthy machine. It was out in the field. Things started dumping hydraulic fluid. It was um the pump was shot. It was coming out the seals and out had a crack in the side. It's a direct drive hydraulic pump off the front of the engine, off the crank. So you gotta just give you a rundown real quick because no one told me how to do it and I don't have a book and I'm sure there's other people who are working on things like this. You gotta take the top off and your sides, all your panels. Take off the shroud on your fan. Undo your radiator. Undo all the hoses. Not your hydraulic lines that go up underneath, but your just your big fat hoses. Drain the radiator. Bend your hoses back out of the way. Take your cross bracing out of the front. Right. So the cross bracing out. Unbolt the bottom of the radiator. And you lift it up. So you have enough room. Shift around a little bit, and you have just enough room to get in there. And you're gonna need inch and a half crow's foot. You're gonna need some crow's foot wrenches for the hydraulic lines, and the bolts will be easier with crow's foot feet. You undo your pump. You take picture out for you. Undo it, and you take picture. You undo it. You get your new one put in there, just how the picture is. Now, getting it out, I had no problem putting it in. There's a problem with the box. It wouldn't fit. Here. The bottom of this was hitting the steel. See there. So I had to get underneath. I had to take the plate off the bottom. bottle jack and a piece of 4x4 block I got and jack it up just about half an inch so I can fit that in there all right this is the end that's the high pressure side then it was just in case you guys anybody was out there like me who had no idea no one's teaching me so hopefully this will help somebody. Alright, give me a like. Watch my video, leave a comment. Thanks a lot.